Welcome back. Let's now see how to solve question number 20 in the Certified Kubernetes Administrator Killer Shell exam simulation. Question 20, task rate 10 percentage. We'll execute this given command to switch the context. And the question says, your coworker said node cluster three dash worker two is running an older version, older Kubernetes version is, and is not even part of the cluster. Update the Kubernetes on the node to exact version that's running on the cluster three master one, then add this node to the cluster. Use the cube admin for this. All right, let's see the number of nodes. So we have only two nodes, cluster three master one, which is a control plane node, and we have only one worker node, which is cluster three dash worker one. And uh, they are running, currently running uh, v1.25.2 version of Kubernetes. So in the question, they specified that the cluster three worker two node is not even part of the cluster. Uh, let's SSH into the cluster three worker two, and now inspect the version of cube admin. I think we have to use cube admin version. So it is one twenty five dot two. That's already with the right version. Which is good, no need to upgrade the cube admin. Now let us take a look at the cube cubelet version. Try to use dash dash version. Cubelet, uh, yeah, cubelet version is version 1.24.6. It's running on a lower version. Yeah. Oh, we need to use the cube admin upgrade cluster yeah, from the Kubernetes documentation. So we have to upgrade it to. Um, to 125 and we are doing this on worker node let's search for worker this is the third one in the list upgrade the worker nodes so we need to check um, the cube admin cube admin is already on 125 so we need not have to take any action for this one uh let's try cube admin upgrade node to see if it is able to upgrade it uh now the kubelet file is missing that's fine because it's not even part of the cluster we'll try and join this worker node uh, to the cluster now we have to upgrade the kubelet and Cube cuttle, cube cuttle. We have noticed it is on a lower version. Let's inspect the kubelet. We have to use dash dash version. So it's even on a lower version, 124.6. So we have to upgrade both the kubelet and cube cuttle to the desired version. First, we'll Unhold them and then we will even, yeah, uh, one twenty five. So, this is the exact version, I suppose. Let's check another tunnel one twenty five dot two. As it is, let's get the update for them both. And once that is done, we have to hold them so that it does not automatically update.
This one is taking a while. Let's give it some time. It's done. Let's hold them, set them. Now we have to restart um, the kubelet um, and reload the daemon. It's done. We didn't cordon anything because it's it's not running anything. It's not even part of the cluster, so we need not have to uncordon that uh, for this situation. So get nodes obviously will not give us any useful information about this upgrade because we have to use kubeadmin uh, join to uh, or to join this node. So let's use this one. So basically, it will be key. We have to use a token. Join. Sorry. So let us let us uh, frame the command. So it's basically keep keep admin token create. So we have to do this from the master node. So let us SSH into cluster three master one. And then let us execute admin token create going to use print join join command let's create a token and um, this attribute print join command will also Give the join command which we have to execute on the worker node we where we just created. So I'm just copying the entire uh, string. Uh, we can also check this by using keep admin uh, token list. So this one is with token u3f. So this is something which is valid for 23 hours. Let's go back here and execute the cube admin join. That's running the pre-flight checks. Now it's starting the kubelet. It's configuring the kubelet. Let's give it some time. Uh, it seems it's done. Now, if we go back to the other terminal, exit out of it, and say kubectl uh, get nodes. We should be able to see it right here. It's still not ready. We have to give it some time. But uh, what we have to make sure is uh, it's it's already joined part of the cluster, and we have um, the same version of kubeadmin kubelet and um the cube cuttle running on all these nodes so the api uh, server should be coming up so now it's in a ready state so anything else that we have to do then add this node to the cluster you have the so nothing more so so as long as we are able to see the 
cluster three worker two part of this cluster and it is in a ready state and it's running the same version as the other two nodes uh, it should should be fine thanks for your time and see you in the next session